tomorrow is the Super Bowl and the Adventure Squad and I are super excited about it. We're gonna celebrate by heading down south to Falls City, Oregon, where Rope Master Ron Lewis set up a little mission for us that takes us through unknown roads, a ghost town, and some old growth forest. But the real question is, what size tires should I take on these unknown roads? Is it a 45C? A 2.1650? Maybe it's the mountain bike. Is it the electric bike? I don't know. Warmer gloves. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. I have no idea what we're in for. Yeah. like the same tires from last week. No, these are different tires. Caravail. Oh. Cannonball. Oh. 700 by 42. Kind of standard. Middle of the road gravel tires. They work. A little bit of gnarl. A little bit of cushion. Not too much. Just right. I'm also working with some new tire meat today. I'm testing out the Bruce Gordon Rock and Roads. 43 claim measuring out to 41. 700C. So far, so good. Can you see the tread when it's moving? What do you think, Ron? You you call this butter gravel? Uh, it's logging slime. Let me take a close. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it. Hey, Chris, you're right about the rain jacket. Yeah, you got it. I'm doing my thing. I'm coming home, baby, now. I'm coming home now, right away. I'm coming home. I'm sorry now I ever went away yeah. Every night and day I go cold Oh, it's so soft I'm coming home, baby Come on now. home Peter, what are you advising in this situation? I advise extreme caution Okay If digits start freezing, make sure to put them in orifices quickly <laughs> I got <laughs> okay I'm coming home, baby, now You know I'm waiting here for you I'm coming home now real soon Come on home I'm coming home, baby, now You don't know what I'm gonna do I'm coming home, I know I'm old <laughs> Putting your rain jacket on after you've already soaked your first layer. Just trap that cold, wet water underneath your rain jacket. Sketchy, but now we're good. Ron turned back. He didn't have a rain gear or the right equipment for potential rain snow today, so he headed back to warmth and comfort. The rest of us are stubbornly trudging ahead. Hey, where is everybody? Come on, come on, come on. It's very wet out here. It's very wet. All right, today's snack attack. We got, uh, what is this thing? All right, what, what is this? Well, I'm not actually sure. Ron gave me this when he got out of his car today. How come Ron didn't give me one? He, I, I'm not. I don't. I don't, I don't know. Did you get one too? Mmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like sushi rice with chocolate mushrooms in here and some chia. It looks like. Man. How exotic. You, how is yours? Did you get? Oh, I didn't get one. <laughs> Hey, you guys think we're gonna be able to make it back in time for kickoff? I think it's the Washington Icebergs versus the New Orleans Magicals. Who's gonna win, Devin? Uh, definitely the Magicals have the power of wizardry on their side. It's true. Magicals with a hat trick. <laughs> See ya. Every time we go up top, it starts raining. Should we cut out the ups? Because the rain's not the... Well, okay, we're gonna just keep rain, rain riding. 
Bring the rain. Such a model citizen. 25 miles in, I, I'm fucking beat. I feel like I need to eat all my food right now. Are you guys feeling the... The revolution is here. Ah, the revolution is here. This is a really important topic most cyclists need to know. Half wheeling is when you're riding next to somebody and you're constantly staying a half a wheel ahead of them. So the person on that you're riding next to is constantly trying to get even with you and you're constantly staying one half wheel ahead of them. That's the version of half wheeling that sucks when you're on a group ride because then it's like a constant push of the pace faster and faster and faster. Everything has to do with antisocial behavior that is the half wheel. <laughs> so it's our father's faults. Yeah, I, I blame my dad. Yeah, cool. me too. Oh, yeah. 15% grade for two miles or some shit. Wait, we're going up there? We're going to see Oh my god. Call out the Because there's something in the Oh yeah, wow. We've got yeah. to get ourselves together. The revolution is here. And you know that it's right. Hey, can I tell you about my new glasses? I'm so stoked on them. They're prescription, single vision, in some crazy Technar Oakley cycling frames. I forget the model name, but they're legit. Sports RX hooked it up. If you want any info on them, I put a link below. I, I, I'm just like a glasses nerd. That's really it. So if you prescription glasses nerd, I got you, buddy. Whoa. What? This section of forest is the oldest growth forest in Oregon. They call it Valley of the Giants. It's Madrigal Tree Church right here. Also, subsequently, one of the wettest areas of Oregon. Right here, which makes sense. Trees like rain. It's a big tree. vampire tree hosting off of this dead tree. Look at how skinny the little walkway is. Okay, today's crepe excursion, smoked salmon, roasted Brussels sprouts, and minted chev. And we also may or may not be lost, but you know. Now we're dork rumbling. Doug's showing me how to do it. I, apparently I was doing it wrong this whole time. <laughs> wow. After that little tree excursion, everyone got a little bit anxious about how much time we have left before the sun sets. So now we're halfway through this ride, 30 miles, right smack dab in the middle. Uh, almost fell. Hold on here. And trying to just beeline it back before the sun sets. Oh, here we go! Hey Doug. Yo. Hey, why did you decide the magic carpet ride for today? Ah, uh, mostly because I didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. So I was kind of like, eh, I might as well just be on the safe side to protect my knees and my back. And I haven't been on it in a little bit, so it feels good. Cool. Fun bike. Three hours, 50 minutes, 38 miles in. We are slogging it. When are we home? <laughs> How much daylight do we have left? Yeah. I think we're both pretty fracked out at this point. We still got a ways to go. We had to pull over to eat. Those guys left. Bye, guys. Not sustenance. This is a revolution. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the revolution which is going on now. This is the revolution which is going on in people's hearts. This climb just keeps going and going and it's the end of this long ride and I just don't know what I... I don't know. Help! ...on in their bodies. It's a revolution that is going to change the entire universe. Don't be like me. Use a fender. It's a dangerous, dirty life out there. You'll end up a disgusting hot mess. This is a PSA from your friendly neighborhood bicyclist. Fenders save lives. Change the entire course of history. The word says that the lame shall walk, the blind shall see. Oh, it's so can. cold. This is a revolution in people's consciences. It is a revolution. All right, well, the route goes that way. We think everybody else went that way. So Devin into the unknown with the closed gate. Sounds good to me. And I'm gonna do nice friendly Cadillac gravel into a warm vehicle. I'm gonna do broken down Volkswagen bug gravel. <laughs> what? As opposed to Cadillac? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I missed out on that one. Try to keep up. Okay. Back up their lives. It is not just something that affects the outside. Okay, we made it back. I'm freezing. Everything is wet and I got so cold from that damn descent. So, I don't know. I don't know why I decided to tell you. I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> Please feel my pain. Please open the door for me. Dexterity limited. Send help. Oh my God. Okay, all right, okay. That experience was full on. A big day. The numbers aren't that big, but man, it sure felt like an epic experience. And it was an epic experience. The ghost town, we couldn't find it. It was such a ghost town that we couldn't even, we don't even, it's, but the old growth forest, oh, so special. And the ride by the numbers. Oh my God. Five hours, 21 minutes rolling time, 59 miles, and 6,412 feet of elevation. Hmm, that's over Golden Ray. That's a good ratio. All right. That we have to be a part of. Oh, yeah. Hey, what an epic, exciting ride. Thanks to Ron for building this route and the rest of the players for coming out and making this adventure happen. If there's anything you liked here, go ahead, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, now might be the time. Oh, and hey, I got new stickers. White, slow as fuck, and white one-wheel drive. You've been asking for them, I delivered. Those are right here. Until next time, dear friends, this is Dustin Klein with the coolest glasses in the world. Signing off. Goodbye!